Hello racing club and racing fans. It's Jay Neff, trainer at Santa Anita. Here we are at Barn 10, Barn 110, uh, with uh, one of our fillies here. This is Classical Romance. She's gonna be racing Friday. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. We have a filly by Mendelssohn that we purchased at the Keeneland yearling sale in Kentucky in September and we have to find a name for that filly so we're going to invite all the club members and all the racing fans who are watching this video to go to our website californiaturfgroup.com and submit a name in the contact uh, area at the bottom of the home page and say contact and then you can uh, fill in an email with your name suggestion now it's a little tricky uh, you have to come up with a name that the jockey club will approve so of course it's no obscenities or offensive things but it's also limited to 18 letters and spaces so make sure you fit into that 18 slot there and then you can go to the Jockey Club website and I'll show you how to do that right now. So I've gone to Google, typed in Jockey Club naming rules. Don't go to the Derby Experiences, go to jockeyclub.com, the American Stud Book Principal Rules and Requirements. And you click on that and we'll go down here to naming and you'll see all the rules for naming these horses. It's not too complicated and it's pretty much common sense. Just look over the rules and it'll give you a good guide to come up with a name. First thing we're going to do is look at the Jockey Club's online name book. And you just Google that online names book, the Jockey Club, it'll take you to their website this will pop up and when you want to submit a name you first have to check to make sure it's available so let's take a famous name like native dancer and we'll look it up and sure enough it's permanently taken right down here names can also be reserved this one is permanently used so let's try a different name how about Cincy we'll look that up no direct matches. So we could submit Cincy to the Jockey Club for their approval and name our horse Cincy. Now, uh, there's a lot of little rules regarding uh, the names. You know, they don't want any obscenities or offensive things uh, used for the names. So every name has to be approved. So we'll submit our names to the Jockey Club. There's a special form for that. I'll take care of it. And uh, uh, I'm sure we won't have any problem with the names we're thinking of. The names must be submitted before December 20th. Cincy and I will choose three names. We'll submit them to the members of the racing club and they will vote on which name they want to give to the new filly. And whoever submits the winning name will win a stainless steel water bottle with the California Thoroughbred Racing Club logo and racing silks on it. Now here's a little tip for coming up with a name. A very common way of coming up with a name for racehorses is to look at their ancestors and their pedigrees. So you can go to pedigreequery.com and type in Parisian Affair, that's our filly's dam, her mother, or you can type in Mendelssohn, that's her sire, and it will bring up the pedigrees. Now here's Parisian Affairs pedigree, and you can see all the stallions are in blue, all the dams are in pink, and people will make all kinds of combinations of these names. Like we have Native Dancer carried over to Native Charger, uh, Northern Dancer, came from Native Dancer. Native Dancer was the maternal grandsire 
of Northern Dancer. We have Dancer's Image, who's by Native Dancer. So you can see how people use these um, names to come up with new names. Here's another example, Mr. Prospector, Gone West. Mr. Greeley, Horace Greeley said, go west, young man. And that was during the gold rush, so they became prospect, uh, prospectors. And that's where that came up with. Interestingly, reviewer, his dam is Broadway, and he was named after a, uh, a gentleman who was a critic in the theater business in New York. Here's our Philly's sire, Mendelssohn, and he is by Scat Daddy, who is by Johannesburg, who is by Hennessy, Stormcat, Stormbird, and so on. Mr. Prospector again shows up, Ray's a native, native dancer. So we have a lot of native dancer uh, blood, and uh, you know maybe somebody can come up with a, a name through uh, native dancer. Now here's another interesting fact about this pedigree. Ice Capade is out of Shenanigans, who's by Native Dancer. Shenanigans also produced the famous champion Ruffian, who was by Reviewer, which we saw in Parisian Affairs Pedigree. I really think you'll enjoy visiting pedigreequery.com, not just to look at these, this pedigree, but just out of the picture in the upper left of the web page, it will say Reports. You can click on reports and click on photos. And every one of these ancestors that has an available photograph will have that photograph listed. And you can just click on it and see what each one of these horses actually looked like. Another fascinating part of this website is the fact that any one of the names that you see here, if you click on it, it will open an entirely new five generation pedigree from that name back. And you can follow these pedigrees all the way back to the 1600s. It's a really fascinating website. I hope you'll take a look at it. So there you go. There's a few tips on how to uh, come up with an idea. There's the instructions on how to check and make sure your name is uh, okay and uh, that it's not in use. And uh, I hope we get some great suggestions. We're looking forward to hearing from everyone. So thank you for watching and good luck at the races.